There's so much content out there. You're on your Facebook feed nonstop, Instagram feed nonstop. I mean, it's just YouTube, gazillion videos, right? So what makes you stand out? With all the opportunities that exist today, why haven't you reached your next level of income, life, and wealth? In most cases, we've been lied to. We've been told that if you find the right opportunity and you work hard, you can be successful. And that's simply not true. Millionaires, billionaires, and successful people have realized you need the foundation for wealth, the habits. And that's exactly what you'll be learning on the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts here. What's up, what's up? Welcome to the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. This is where we go upstream to anchor in the habits, the rules, the, the strategies for long-term sustainable wealth and success in your life. Nobody wants a flash in the pan. There's no such thing as a get rich overnight strategy. So we might as well build the, the, the grit for long-term happiness and wealth. It's so awesome to have you here. You know, today, if you're watching me on video, I got a little mic on, sorry, I'm not trying to be cool. I, I'm doing one of my masterminds. I'm about to go back on stage, have an incredible time with the Growth Mastermind Group. Awesome peeps, giving me so much energy. And what I've been teaching them that they went nuts over is how to make a video that makes an impact. How to make a video that converts if you're selling something. How to make a video that people stop and watch. I mean, think about in today's world. There's so, there's so much content out there. You're on your Facebook feed nonstop, Instagram feed nonstop. I mean, it's just YouTube, gazillion videos, right? So what makes you stand out? So I want you to look at a video, no matter if you're just doing a video to make an impact on someone's life, not selling anything, you just want them to listen so you can help them. Or if you're doing an advertisement or you're trying to get people to come to your blog or trying to get people to follow you on Instagram, there's three parts of a video that are a must if it's gonna work, if it's gonna be compelling, if people are gonna stop and watch it and then watch the whole thing and then take an action at the end. You see, <clears throat> most people are really good at the middle part and it's three sections. It's the hook, the story, and the offer or the hook, story, and close. Now, if that sounds like sales lingo, it doesn't matter. If you don't hook somebody, they're gonna go right past your video and on to someone else's. So you have to have a hook. You have to have something that goes, Huh, let me think. I'll give you an example. I did an infomercial with Larry King. I've been doing infomercials for 20 years. And I was so enamored. I was so excited to do it with Larry King. He's a legend. If you're younger, you might not realize the power of who he is, but that guy, like 70 years of journal, uh, being a journalist. I mean, think about that, 70 years. Every president you could possibly imagine, every billionaire, every top artist, the guy's just interviewed everybody. So he interviews me for an infomercial. And I write his opening line. Now, I write his opening line because I, I watched so many of his shows, his Larry King shows, and it starts with, tonight on Larry King, I'm here, whoever the guest is, uh, Bill Clinton, and Bill Clinton is XYZ, or I'm here with, uh, um, you know, pick any celebrity, I'm here with Prince, and this is Prince, and this is how many records he's done, this is all this stuff, so I wrote this open to like kind of build my own value. Hey, this is Larry King, I'm here with Dean Graziosi, and he's this, and a multiple New York Times best-selling author, and all that stuff, and you know what I forgot? My magic rule is I needed a hook to get people to stop. We filmed this incredible show, played it a bunch of times, didn't work, right? So I'm using, I'm giving you an example of an infomercial. It's a video and I need people to buy my book at the end. That's how I can afford to be on there. I can't make an impact on people's lives unless they buy my book, right? And I can't afford to be on the air unless they buy my book, but it doesn't work. So I look at the whole show, I'm going back, why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? I missed the first part, the hook. The hooks basically means to hook people to watch it. So I changed the opening line to this. Think of, this is the old one. Hey, this is Larry King. Welcome to my show tonight. I'm here with best-selling author Dean Graziosi, uh, who's going to show you how to transform your life by changing your habits. That's one. Or what about this one? Have you ever in your adult life looked in the mirror and thought to yourself, wow, I thought I'd be further ahead by now. If you have, you're not alone. Now, do you feel that? You feel the difference of just that one sentence? One, you wanna watch all of us. Doesn't matter if you're 17 or 80, we've looked in the mirror and go, wow, I thought there'd be more by now. And then after the hook, then I can say, well, I'm here with Dean Graziosi. He could say, I'm here with Dean Graziosi. He's a multiple New York Times bestseller, businessman. And he's gonna show you the habits that changed his life. Stay tuned so you can watch those. And then I get to tell the second part, the story. The story is, this is where I came from. This is what I've done. The story is easy. Most every one of you watching, if you do a video, telling the story about your life, telling the story how you can help people, telling the story of what people can do to better improve their life. That part is always easy. But obsess on the hook on why they should stop and listen to you when they have all the other options. 
So it was the hook, and then there's the story that we're talking about. Story's easy, I'm not even gonna spend time on it. You already know the story. If you're selling something, if you wanna make an impact, you want someone to lose weight, you want someone to go vegan, you know you already have those conversations with friends and people you know, and when you do, they, they think about going vegan, they think about changing their life, they think about doing something because of you. So the middle part of a video is just telling the story. And the last part, is the call to action. And this is where most people back off. This is where most people apologize. Like, oh, if you wanna get my course, go ahead. If you wanna follow me, you can. Oh, I'm not much on sales, so you do what you want. They won't do it. They won't just go because you delivered value. You have to have a strategy, and you have to lean into it, and you have to have confidence and enthusiasm, not be embarrassed or shy to ask for what you want. So hook them, deliver value in your story. Show that you're worthy. Show that they should be listening to you, why they should be there. And then when it comes to the call to action, it's time to lean into it. And an easy way to bridge into it is to create a bridge. I've done this for years. And the bridge could be something like, this is just a simple little analogy. You could think of one like, hey, I love sharing you with you. I love sharing with you for the last 10 minutes, five minutes, 50 minutes. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. I've been blessed to discover X, Y, Z. And I want to share that with you too. But I can't on this short video. But if you'd like to learn more from me, it's pretty cool because I created this course. Or you can come to my website or you could do this thing. That's just a little bridge. Or you know my values, you know what I stand for, you've been watching me, how would you like to learn more from me? You're gonna learn from somebody, I'd love it to be me. Here's what I have for you. That's a little bridge, and then you be very concise on the benefits of them doing whatever action you want them to do. You want them to go to your website, what's the benefit of that? You want them to buy your course, what's the benefit of that? Not the options, not you get this, you get this, you get this, you get this, like no, when they get that, what is the end result of them getting that? So a bridge, and then be very concise. Remember, less is more. Don't make it overcomplicated. Talk about the benefits of taking the action you want, the website, the product, the service, coming to a live event. And at the end, anchor it. Tell them this is their moment. Create urgency. Decide, have them decide why they shouldn't go there. Make it feel uncomfortable for not getting what you have to offer. Hey, listen, I only had a few minutes here to share how to create a video that's compelling, to make impact, that converts. But if you can remember, hook story close and do it with caring, do it with enthusiasm, do it with authenticity, you'll be far above anybody else shooting videos. Thanks so much for being here at the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. Remember, all success starts right here. And if you haven't taken the Better Life Challenge, you need to go to the website right now. It's free, it's 30 days, it's two minutes a day, and I'm giving away my Tesla. Yeah, a badass car for somebody who goes through the challenge. Go right now, thebetterlife.com. What's up, what's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.